Hello everybody, this is another Hot Wheels collector video and today I have another haul showcase for you guys. I've been finding a ton of stuff recently and this is the second haul showcase within a few weeks I believe, so yeah. But I have been able to find quite a few new main lines as well as some new premium Fast and Furious cars as well. Now before we go any further I would like to mention that all of the main lines we're going to take a look at first came from the Entertainer and I found these just a couple of weeks ago. Now the Entertainer sell their main lines for £2.40 each or you can pay £3.60 for two and that works out at £1.80 each if you do take up that deal. So that is a pretty decent price, it works out just above the UK average for main lines. The average here is about £1.69, but honestly I wasn't too sad about that price because honestly it is pretty close to the average and these are very new cars as well. I will mention that the Entertainer had restocked an F case and there are some cars from the E case here as well. Now that is because they carry over into the F case, I didn't find a separate E case. They did just come from the F case which was in the single store which I did visit and find all of these cars at. So the first car I was able to find was this, the 71 El Camino. Now this is brand new for the 2024 F case and it does have a Super Treasure Hunt version as well. This is the regular version of the Super Treasure Hunt. This version as well as the Super Treasure Hunt are both fantastic. The Super Treasure Hunt is my favourite of 2024 so far. I'll have an image of that pop up on screen right now. But yeah, I really like the look of that thing. I think it just looks so cool. So this thing is rolling on the five spoke muscle style wheels which have been painted in chrome. This thing does receive side and top tamper work as you can see there really like the look of that, really cool design. This thing has been painted in a glossy purple colour, again I think that suits this car very nicely. It's got no front or rear tamper work as you can see here, and the base plastic on this car is chrome painted. I would like to mention that this car does feature in the 2024 Hot Wheels Hot Trucks mini series, and this is car number 7 out of 10 in that set. I would also like to mention that this is car number 132 out of 250 for the 2024 mainline. This is a really cool one, I love the way this thing looks and the Super Treasure Hunt is even better. What a great recolour of this casting from the Hot Wheels team. Really nice looking, I'm really happy I was able to find this thing. And the second car I was able to find was this, the Volvo XC40 Recharge. This is not a very popular casting, I know a lot of people don't really like it. I don't think it looks too bad, and this recolour really does make this casting look a lot better uh, than the first release in my opinion. I really like the racing kind of look this thing is going for, the off-road racer look, really cool and unique. This was new for the E case, however it does carry over into the F case, which is how I found this thing. It has been painted in glossy white and does receive side and rear tampo work. No front tampo work or any top tampo work on this thing. This thing is rolling on the off-road beadlock style wheels, which have been painted completely in black. And this thing does have black base plastic to it. As I've said, I really like the look of this thing. I think it's been done very well by the Hot Wheels team. And this was a brand new casting for last year. This thing does feature in the Hot Wheels 2024 Green Speed mini series, And this is car number 2 out of 10 in that set. And I would also like to mention that this is car number 14 out of 250 for the 2024 mainline. Again, this is a really nice one. Can't wait to get it unboxed. And the next car is equally as cool. This is the 60s Fiat 500D Modificado, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Now this was new for the E case, however it does carry over into the F case. Again, that is how I managed to find this thing, just like the Volvo XC40 we've just seen. This was also the super treasure hunt for the E case as well, but this is the regular version of that. So this thing does receive side and top tampo work, no front or rear tampo work on this thing unfortunately. It has been painted in a metallic yellow colour which does look really cool on this casting. I quite like that colour, it looks better in person. 
And uh, yeah, this thing is rolling on the Muscle Car 5 spoke wheels, which have been done in black with a chrome red lip to them. And the base plastic on this car is black. Now then, this car does feature in the Compact Kings mini series for 2024, and it is car number 5 out of 5 in that set. And this is car number 117 out of 250 for the 2024 mainline. Another really cool one. And next up, we have the first new casting of this video. This is the Cadillac Project GTP hypercar. There's quite a lot of hype around this thing. I wasn't expecting there to be much hype around it, but there appears to be quite a lot, to be honest. So this is brand new for the E case. However, it does carry over into the F case, which is how I managed to find this thing. And uh, yeah, this thing does receive side and also a little bit of top tamper work. As you can see, the Cadillac badge being tampered onto the hood there. No front or rear tamper work on this thing. It has been painted in a matte black color. Looks really good on this car. It kind of reminds me of the Pagani Zonda R. Um, first release which we did see in 2022. It had the exact same colour scheme which I honestly am a big fan of. This thing is rolling on the 10 spoke Y design wheels which have been painted in chrome gold and this thing does have black base plastic to it. Now then this car does feature in the Hot Wheels Turbo mini series for 2024 and this is car number 3 out of 5 in that set. And I would also like to mention that this is car number 123 out of 250 for the 2024 mainline. This is such a cool new casting. I love this debut version. As I've said, the colour scheme here is right up my street. Really like the look of this thing. And overall, the Hot Wheels team have done a fantastic job, not only on the casting, but on this colour. Uh, it is just so cool looking and I can't wait to see where this casting pops up next. If I was to guess, I think it's going to come to premium soon, but who really knows? Probably some kind of track day um, sets or maybe even next year's Exotic Envy if they do decide to do that in premium. But who knows? Honestly, I think the next recolor will be equally as cool and I can't wait to see what it looks like. But yeah, really cool casting and really good colour of this casting. I really like the look of this thing. And next up we have the Zinger 21C. This is a brand new casting for this year and this is the second colourway of this car. And honestly, I think I prefer this colour over the original blue version. just love this metallic red color on it. I think it pops so well. So this is brand new for the F case. That is how you will be able to find this thing. And this thing is rolling on the five spoke Y design wheels, which have been painted in black. It does receive front and rear tamper work. I've already mentioned it's painted in metallic reds. There's no top tamper work on this thing, no side tamper work, but it doesn't really need any, to be honest. Looks really good, has a nice factory look to it. And this thing does have black base plastic to it. Now then, this car does feature in the 2024 Hot Wheels Green Speed Mini Series. And this is car number 1 out of 10 in that set. And this is also car number 13 out of 250 for the 2024 mainline. I'm really impressed with this recolor. And again, can't wait to unbox this thing. Now the next car I was not going to purchase if I'm totally honest. Uh, but the only reason why I bought it is because I needed another car to get the 2 for £3.60 discount and I decided to pick this one up. This is the Mazda Autozam. This is also a brand new casting for this year and this is the second recolor of it. Uh, so this is the second colour that's ever come out. Now then, this is brand new for the 2024 F case. It does receive side and front tamper work, loads of tamper work on this thing. The more I look at it, the more it grows on me. Really cool recolor now that I look at it here. This thing has been painted in a weird matte blue color, very dark blue and a really unique color, which actually does work very nicely with this car in my opinion. This thing is rolling on the six spoke off-road wheels, which are huge on this car. They have been done in black with a grey lip to them. This thing does have black base plastic. I will mention there is no rear 
or top temple work on this thing and yeah that's really it for this one so this thing does feature in the Hot Wheels Dream Garage miniseries for 2024. It is car number 3 out of 5 in that set. And this is car number 1 out of 250 for 2024. The reason it is car number 1 is because it did win Hot Wheels Legends Tour. And that does give this thing the number 1 spot for the main line of this year. Um, yeah, really, really cool one. And honestly, I'm pleased I did pick this thing up. And the next car I have here is a brand new casting for 2024 and I know this thing here in the UK is really popular. This is the Ford Performance Supervan 4. Now then this thing is brand new for the 2024 F case and as I've said this is a really cool casting. Tons of details on this thing and I like this thing as well. So this thing does receive side and rear temple work. It's being painted in glossy white. It doesn't have any top or front temple work. This thing is rolling on the 10 spoke wheels which have been painted in black. And this thing does have black base plastic to it. Now then, this car does feature in the 2024 Hot Wheels Green Speed mini series and is car number nine out of 10 in that set. I would also like to mention that this is car number 128 out of 250 for the 2024 mainline. This is a really cool brand new casting and honestly this first colour of it is so well done. It looks so cool. I can't wait to see where this thing pops up next and I can't wait to unbox this thing. It's just so great looking. So much detail on this thing. And the next car I have here is the 15 Jaguar F-Type Project 7. This thing is not a new casting like the previous one, but it does have one thing in common. It is also white, um, like the previous Ford Supervan 4 we've just seen. Now this thing was new for the 2024 E case, however it does carry over into the F case, which is how I managed to find this thing. Now if I'm totally honest, this thing seems to be a bit of a peg warmer here in the UK. I'm not too sure why, as I quite like this thing. But let me know what you guys think of this thing in the comments section down below. Do you like it or do you dislike it? Let me know because I will be reading all of your comments. So yeah, please do leave some comments for me. I really do like hearing your thoughts and opinions on these cars. Now then, this thing has been painted in metallic white, which is quite subtly metallic, but it is metallic nonetheless. It does receive side and top temple work. No front or rear temple work on this thing. It is rolling on the lace wheels, which have been painted in chrome gold, and this thing does have black base plastic to it. Now then, this car does feature in the 2024 Hot Wheels Roadsters miniseries and is car number 5 out of 5 in that set. I would also like to mention that this is car number 116 out of 250 for the 2024 mainline. And overall, this is a pretty cool one. And this next car is also a brand new casting for 2024. This is the Silverado EV RST. And this was brand new for the 2024 E case, however it does carry over into the 2024 F case, which is how I managed to find this thing. So, this thing has been painted in this very interesting blue colour, which is metallic, really cool colour on this thing. I can't really describe it to be honest, it's just really odd. This thing does receive side and front temple work, as you can see there. Quite a factory look to this thing, which looks really good. Great way to debut this as a new casting. It does not have any top or rear temple work, unfortunately. This thing is rolling on the five spoke wide design wheels, which have been painted in chrome. And this thing does have gray base plastic to it. I would also like to mention that this thing does feature in the 2024 Hot Wheels Green Speed mini series and is car number 8 out of 10 in that set. I would also like to mention that this is car number 110 out of 250 for the 2024 mainline. Now the next car I have here for you is the 70 Plymouth Barracuda. This is brand new for the F case and overall this is another really cool recolor of this casting. I am a big fan. So this thing has been painted in metallic red which looks really good. I'm a big fan of metallic red colors on Hot Wheels cars. I think it's one of the best colors the Hot Wheels team can choose to put on a car. Either that or blue. I love both of them colours when they are metallic. This thing does receive side and top temple work. 
no front or rear tempo work on this thing unfortunately but again we've got to remember this is a main line so at this price point there's going to be a few details missing this thing is rolling on the 10 spoke y design wheels which have been painted in chrome gold quite a controversial wheel choice right there the hot wheels team have chose to put on this car i know quite a few people don't like these wheels because they do look far too big for this thing if i'm totally honest the design is cool and that's what it's meant to look like on the car art but the actual rim part is too large uh, for this car whilst the tire itself is far too small for this type of car this thing also does have black base plastic it's kind of like a dark gray to be honest it's not quite black it depends on who you ask i suppose kind of looks like black kind of looks like dark gray it's kind of in between this thing does feature in the 2024 Hot Wheels Roadsters mini series, and it is car number 3 out of 5 in that set. And I would also like to mention that this is car number 20 out of 250 for the 2024 mainline. This is a really cool recolor of this car. I don't know if I prefer this or the blue version from the 2024 B case. I think both of them are so good looking and they both do things so well that it's just impossible to choose which one is best. They are equally as good. And the final car I was able to find from the entertainer is this, the Tesla Model Y. Now this thing has been painted in metallic black which is full of metal flake, look at that, wow. This thing does receive rear and also some top tampo work as you can see there. No front or side tampo work on this thing. This thing does receive the 10 spoke wheels which have been painted completely in black. I love the blacked out look of this car, I think it looks really cool with this casting. It also looks very similar to the previous grey version which unfortunately I don't have in my collection but it is a really cool recolor. Yeah this thing looks very similar to that. This thing does have black base plastic to it. And this car does feature in the 2024 Hot Wheels Green Speed mini series. And this is car number three in that set. I would also like to mention that this is car number 15 out of 250 for the 2024 mainline. This is a really cool recolor of this casting. This was a brand new casting for last year. And overall, I love the factory look that this casting uh, has had since it released. It's never had any kind of crazy looks to it yet and I hope the Hot Wheels team do keep up this factory look on this car. I think it looks really, really good. And now we've talked about all of the main lines I was able to find, let's move on to the 2024 Fast and Furious Mix 2 cars. So I found these cars at a Smith's Toy Superstore last Friday, I just popped into the store out of randomness and they were just sitting there, so yeah. I was really happy to find them, I wasn't expecting to find these cars as I know there is a lot of demand and hype around these things. And these things cost me £8.99 each, which is sort of the standard price here in the UK for premiums. I know it's very expensive compared to American prices, but yeah, that is what we do have to pay here in the UK if we do want to get our hands on some premium cars. So yeah, let's get straight into this. So the first car I was able to find is this, the Nissan Silvia S15. This is car number one out of five in this set. It is from the movie Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift and has the nickname of Mona Lisa. And uh, this is a returning recolor. We have already seen this car being done in the past by the Hot Wheels team. So this is technically nothing new, but it is new for me and my collection. So this thing does receive front, side, rear and top tempo work, love to see that, you do expect that with premiums though. It has been done in this lovely purplish blue colour which is slightly metallic, looks really cool and unique and is accurate to the movie car. This thing is rolling on the six spoke real riders which have been painted in chrome there and this thing does have a black metal base to it as you can see there no tread on the tires unfortunately that would have been nice but yeah overall this is a really cool car i'm really pleased to have this thing in my collection it will be staying packaged though because i do keep all of my premiums 
all carded up just because of this lovely card art. I think the Hot Wheels team do such a great job on the premium card art. It would be nice if I was able to take these cards out of the package without destroying the card art, but that is just not really that possible to do. It's very difficult to do and quite time consuming. I'd rather just keep it packaged up. I think it looks very nice in the package. But yeah, that is it for this one. A really, really cool one. Really pleased to have this in my collection. Now this next car is the highlight for me. This thing is just so stunning. This is the Toyota Sora, car number two out of five in this set. It is a brand new casting for Hot Wheels. And this car does come from the Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift movie. This car has been painted in a metallic red color, which is accurate to the movie. And this color looks so good on this car, my goodness. This thing does receive rear, side, front and a little bit of top tempo work around the windows of this car so it has all of the tempo details you could possibly ask for overall this casting is brand new and it's just so cool so well done oh my goodness i really love this thing this thing is rolling on the six spoke real riders which have been done in black with a chrome lip to them those wheels look so good on this car as well and this thing does have a glossy black metal base to it this thing is just so good looking, my goodness. One of my favorite Hot Wheels premiums in my collection for sure. It's just been executed so well and this casting is just so well done, my goodness. It's one of them cars which is really tempting to buy a second one just so you can open one. It is that good, but yeah. So, so, so happy to have this in my collection. I know it is a really popular one and everybody is looking for this thing. And I am really happy to say I was one of them people who was able to find this. It is so good looking. Wow, wow, wow. But there you go. That is it for my haul showcase. That is everything I've been able to find as of late. I hope you guys did enjoy. Have you been able to find any of these cars? Let me know in the comments section down below. Or will you be looking for these cars? Let me know that as well in the comments section down below. I do read your comments and I love hearing what you've been able to find out there in the wilds. But yeah, that's really it for this video. So if you guys did enjoy, make sure to like. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Remember, you can also press that notification bell so you do not see new uploads. Remember you can also share this video with any friends, family or any groups who may be interested. But remember don't feel pressured to if you don't feel like you have anybody who may be interested. You watching this video all the way to the end means so much to me and I really do thank you for making it all the way up until this point. But anyways that is it for this video so I hope you guys did enjoy and I really do hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye bye everyone.